In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to create a court forms and certificates of insurance. So first things first, we're always going to want to access our core library, unless we're needing a blank accord form for some reason, from our client view or from inside of a policy. And the reason being, if we are accessing our core library from a client or a policy, the system will automatically know the client and have the list of policies that we may want the accord form for. So if we click on this piece of paper icon at the top of our screen, that's going to take us into our Accord library. And then you can see you have a list of available forms. You can search by any of the forms that you may want, either by a keyword like liability. And notice it gives you a list of different items that may match up with what you're looking for. Or if you know the specific number of the Accord form that you're wanting, you can also search by a number as well. So to start with, we're going to do the certificate of liability. So first thing that I would do is choose. And then I'm going to click this top box here to deselect all of these policies. So let's say for this instance, maybe I just want a certificate only for my general liability policy, then I can select just that policy if I would like to do so. And then I'm going to click continue. Notice that all information that I have on my agency carried over, the client's information carried over, my carrier information carried over, as well as my coverage information that I have on my general liability policy. Scrolling down then, any of these other light blue fields that we would like to add in here, all of these you can edit, or you can also make changes in anything that is pre-filled as well. And then for going forward, in order to generate the form, you would have to include at least one certificate holder. So I'm just going to choose this one. And you can also add in any additional certificate holders if you would like, if you click the plus sign here, going to allow you to add in a new certificate holder, then you would just save and you can add them to the list here. You will also notice that you will have the capability to email the certificate over to your client as well. If you click the checkbox, then it will automatically email your insured a copy of their accord form. We don't necessarily have to do that, so I'm going to leave that off on here and just go ahead and generate the form. So notice now I can email to certificate holders, I can open the form, and I can open the Accord 101 for additional remarks if I would like to. And I can also scroll back up to the top, and now I can see that I have a list of saved forms that I have done for this client previously. So here is my certificate that I just generated. So notice there's an orange button here for options. So now that I have generated this certificate, I can also go back into edit, add tags, copy, view, print, email, send over to WeSignature for electronic signature, save as a media file, save and go to the list of media files for my client, delete if I've created this in error, or just close. All right, so next, Accord form that I want to take a look at will be the Accord 50. This could come up from time to time for your auto policies, specifically the personal auto policy or the business auto policy. So if we want just a generic one, we can select all, or if you want a state specific one, you would just find your state in the list, but the 50 is the auto ID card. So I'm going to choose this one. Select the policy that it's for, generate form. And it's going to take me over to my Accord form in another window here. And any of these blue fields, I can edit if there are any errors here. But otherwise, I can just submit, and it's now going to appear in my list of forms. If I go back into my Accord library, I do see my auto ID card here, and I will have all of the same options. 
So as stated, you can do a keyword search. So you type in a word like commercial, and you'll notice there are certificates here for evidence of commercial property insurance, but there are other ones in here like the 137 for commercial auto, the 125 for commercial application, and there's also the 175 for the commercial policy change request. So we hope that you will find these Accord forms helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions.